Hello everyone, here's a small video regarding the uh, volume points and how to move them around. Uh, I noticed somebody here is having difficulty with that and as a just a reminder to everyone and I, I say this to myself and I've said it to myself many times and basically never assume that Reaper can't do something just because we don't know how to do it or we haven't figured it out because there's a pretty good chance that not only can you do it but it's probably 10 ways to go about it. So, you know, Always check with the geniuses that are uh, available on YouTube, and I'm sure you know them all, starting with Kenny, John, Aria, and so on and so on. There's so many people here, bright minds that know Reaper uh, very, very well, and are always willing and able to help. So here's my little contribution, since uh, I, I pretty much understood how this works, and regarding uh, the uh, volume points. So now for our argument's sake, and for this video itself, uh, just you know, here's a random track with an empty item and uh, once you select the track you hit V or like so you should click on the track you hit V and your volume envelope will appear by the way guys what do you think of my ginormous uh, cursor here obviously I did this purposely so it's easier for you guys to see so now here we go uh, I'm going to draw in an actual envelope uh, segment if you want and I'm just gonna press on control on the keyboard and I'm going to, if you notice, once you hit control and you move the mouse, uh, the cursor turns into a pencil. So I'm just going to left click, drag, and draw in random um, volume points. And now I'm going to let go. Okay. Now, if you notice, all these points are highlighted automatically when you do that, which means technically now, if I wanted to move all of these, they're ready to be moved. So how do we do that? There are two ways to do that. Uh, the first way is if you want to move these uh, this segment as a whole but only in one direction be it left or right or up and down so for argument's sake let's choose left and right for this particular uh, move right now so what you need to do is you press control and shift at the same time on your keyboard like so and if you notice it turns into obviously uh, a square with many arrows <clears throat> excuse me now if you notice right there the instruction says move envelope points on one axis only which is confirming to us that that's what's going to happen now basically you need just to hover over one point be it you know whatever extreme right or whatever extreme left on the top which where the line is and we're gonna choose this one here once you hover over it just make sure you're pretty centered over it then uh, left click and hold for half a second before you start moving and continue holding your control and your shift continue clicking down on your left mouse and now you're gonna uh, be able to move the whole segment left or right and if you notice even if I go up and down with the cursor it doesn't move up and down because we chose to go left or right on one axis so here we go you're going to be able to move the all your envelope points left or right so now i'm going to let everything go okay and we're going to keep all the points highlighted but now i want to go up and down on one axis same procedure you press control and shift hover over the top uh point be it left or right and uh left click hold for half a second don't move it right away because sometimes it doesn't activate so you left click you hold for half a second before you start moving and now we're gonna move upwards so now if you notice I'm just dragging up and down and all my points are actually moving up and down with uh, with my cursor and there you go so that's one way to do it so now I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna click outside and then deactivate all the points here if you notice okay now here's uh, we're gonna get some uh, re uh, tricky stuff here I'm just gonna open this up a bit more now let's suppose I don't want to move all the points I want to move just certain points be it let's say we're gonna choose uh, this one here this top here and this uh, second one below that so what I'm gonna do is say, is I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to right drag over the points that I want to activate if you notice 
Now I've activated this one, this one, and this one. Now I'm ready to move those points, and only those points will move and not the rest of them. So let's suppose I want to go up, but not move the rest of these points. I want to move these points, these three points going upwards only. Same deal. Control and shift on your keyboard. Hover over one of the points for half a second. Uh, click, sorry, click the left mouse button for half a second and then start moving and you go up now so if you see if you notice only those three points moved together and not the rest of them down here okay so we're going to just let go of that and now let's suppose uh, i want to move left and right now that i've done this same deal now left uh, control shift hold hover click for half a second and move this direction so if you notice it's only those three points that are moving and only in one axis. They're not going up and down. They're only going left and right because that's what we chose to do. And there you go. There you have it. This is how you do it. Now let's suppose you want to, uh, I'm just going to X out of all this and let's go back to here. Let's suppose I just want to randomly be able to go left, uh, right, up or down. Uh, so in other words, I'm not, I'm not uh, wanting to move in only one particular axis now so instead of holding control and shift at the same time you just make sure your all your points are highlighted if not just highlight them by right dragging over all the points they'll all highlight and so rather than pressing control and shift at the same time you just press shift hold uh, one of the uh, points Hover over, left click for about half a second. And now you'll notice you can move this stuff around pretty much anywhere you want. You see, that's how it's done. So I hope this helped you out. And um, I know that I was uh, frustrated at the beginning because I didn't know how to do it myself. But hey, you know, watch a couple of videos, listen to the pros, and you'll get to be able to do stuff you never thought possible. So take care and hope you learned something. Famous words of Kenny Joya. Ciao.